today I'm going to add an attribute to an existing product and I'm also going to create a global attribute which can be used by any product in the card at any point in time. The first thing we're going to want to do is of course go ahead and find a product to add the attribute to. In this case I'm going to select an Apple computer. I'm going to click on the attributes tab and I'm going to go ahead and enter in the name of the attribute. Select its priority and this one I am going to make a drop down. So I'm going to need to start entering in the attribute names into the options box. And I'm going to go ahead and decide if I'm going to activate it and track inventory on this particular one. Go ahead and add it. I'm going to see it listed here. For this example I'm also going to have the one gig hard drive be an additional $25 if selected. There it's listed. Now I'm going to go ahead and select inventory and I'm going to want to keep track of that at the attribute level. So I'm going to need to create a sub ID or an additional product ID for each one of these attributes. I'm going to go ahead and save that. There's my stock. Save changes. Now I'm going to go to the front of the site and there's my product with my attribute. And as you see, when I change that, it will change the price up at the top. So I'm going to go in the back end of the card again, and I'm going to create a global attribute. Now, global attributes can be used for any product in any category at any point in time. Go ahead and give it a name, my default priority, and this one I'm going to make a radio button. On the 19 inch, I'm going to add an additional $100 in price and also add an additional five pounds in weight. So I'm just gonna save it, not bulk load it to all the products in that particular category. So now I'm gonna go back to my product and I'm gonna be able to go ahead and select the global attribute and apply it to this product. And there it is. Save changes, go back to the front of the store, refresh the page, and there's my two attributes. As you can see, it'll change the price again. Add it to cart, and there they are listed in the cart area.